guys, it's Sarah with The Painted Farmer and today we're going to be painting a soccer ball. So this is going to be a quick tutorial. This is one of the easiest designs I offer. Um, and to get started, we're going to make sure that we have our space prepared. Um, go ahead and make sure you have a tablecloth to cover your work area, um, a cup of water to rinse your paintbrushes, some paper towels, and a paper plate to hold your paint. Also make sure you're either wearing an old t-shirt or an apron because this paint is permanent and once it dries on your clothes it will not come out. So let's get started. So if you ordered a soccer ball in your paint party kit, um, all of the lines are going to be already drawn for you and the B stand for black. So all of these areas are going to be black and the rest are going to be white. You're going to want to start with your small paintbrush and you're going to want to start with the white areas first. You want to prepare each white space by painting right up against the line. So once you've cut in around all your edges, you're going to take your bigger paintbrush that came in your kit and fill in the rest. Make sure you paint all in one direction and don't paint too thick because when we go to blow dry this, we want it to dry quickly. Again, we're gonna take our small brush and we're gonna cut in around all the edges. So after you have all of your white spaces painted, you're gonna go ahead and blow dry. Now that you're done blow drying all of your white sections, you can see that I've painted pretty thin so that they could dry quickly. And if you would like a second coat, you can go ahead and do that now and just make sure you blow dry again. I'm gonna move on for the sake of time to my black. So we're gonna be doing the same pattern that we did with the white. We're gonna take our small brush and we're just gonna line the edges. Then you're gonna take your bigger brush and you're gonna fill in the inside. You'll see that I made a small mistake and went over the line and got some of my black in the white. That's fine. Leave it until it dries and you can fix it after it's dry. So now we're going to repeat the same process with all the other black areas and then we're going to blow dry again the whole thing. Now the next step is to go ahead and go over each of these lines with black paint. So put part of your hand down to kind of steady you. Now that this is dry, I'm going to go ahead and touch up my mistake. So now the main part of your soccer ball is finished and we are just going to add some accent lines. So as you can see, I finished adding a lot of details. So really I just added gray along the black edges first, all the black edges. Then I added gray inside of the white. Just a few wisps here and there. They don't all have to match or be perfect. I did some gray in here as well. 
I did the number sign and then you can add your number whatever number your jersey is or you could put your name if you'd like then when I was done with the gray I went back around the edges of the white and added some black accents as well and now it's finished so that wraps up our painting tutorial for the soccer ball I hope you guys had a great time painting with me